Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you finally working correctly Unity 3D Engine Based Game Updater. So let's have a look at what we have. We create a new Unity 3D project. Then we are going to import Unity package into our new Unity 3D project. New project. Mm. Unity Auto Updater or just update create. It will import all necessary components into the project and then we will import our package into our new project. Let's wait for Unity to load everything up because this is important. We don't want to have any bugs and logs. We have everything correctly working. So I will show you how it's working. Now actually I can double click on my package. And I will import all the components from the package into my Unity 3D project. All the components are necessary for correct work of this updater. So don't skip anything. Import everything. Then launch this updater underscore v version 3 example. I will have this maximize on play enabled so you will see that it's working correctly. Let's dig into our project. Unity auto update assets. And you can see here that in this folder we don't have game. Actually, we have only one file, a text file. So this is uh, not existing version, it's zero, so it means that we don't have game installed yet. So this is a folder for game in a project and in the standalone game application. So this is a folder and we don't have game installed. It's only 5 bytes of memory taken. Now we are going to try this updater in Unity Editor, so let's hit play button. And it will say that you don't have any game version installed, so you don't have any version of the game installed. Click to install the newest 1.21 version. I click. Actually this number is not just random number, it's, uh, it was taken from the text file from server. And this is also, it will say that uh, extracted and, and installed, installed, not updated, because we don't have a game yet. So that, that's why we installed uh, you know, the game from you know, fresh, sour. So the version now is 121. So this information is taken from uh, such components. From uh, So th this is actually not Dropbox. Uh, this is actually UCOS file hosting and I have here direct link update version so this file actually contains only a uh, latest version of the game number so it's 1.21 uh, this is uh, 
file which is hosted on this server ge.tt so get get right and this is direct link to this file so now I don't use Dropbox because Dropbox banned me and now I use Ucos and get it you can use you know or you cause or get it or both like I do so uh, and let's just say we want to downgrade a version of the game so we have the version now currently we have the version of the game 121 one. let's just say we want to downgrade so for this example I have here uh, just for a test archive with old uh, version of the game let's just uh, replace newest version of the game with old one so yes now let's hit play once again so it will say you have outdated 101 version of the game click the button and we will update it to 121 so once again it's not a random number if you look at script I provide in this package you will see that this number is not random so it's taken right from the file on the server so I click here once again and it will update it to newest version of the game so it's how it works in editor and now I'm going to show you how it's working in standalone build so now it says extracted and updated old version 101 to new version 121 so let's go here build let's add current example build and build it to, let's just say it's test it will take some time and meanwhile we have a look at contents of our mm, game data folder so where is our example actually it will be over here right it should appear here so this is a package with updated version of the game so it downloads uh, you know this package into this folder into root of uh, uh, your game or root of your project folder in my case it downloaded it into uh, project root folder so this is a package with the latest version of the game so if you want to have a look at uh, differences between old version and new version of the game you can watch my previous videos on the uh, Unity Auto Update series series you know yeah so we have this uh, test but this is not enough have a look so here in test we don't have a game folder so this is very important so you have to go back into assets and take this this file updater no game and extract it into your game data folder so in my case it says game out of data right but this is you know important so this data you know here data extracted into here and here we go we have it totally working correctly so have a look uh, now launch it again I will uh, I will use windowed mode because it's, it's much better for view for your and mine so we launch test in windowed mode and now we don't have any version of the game installed and it will say that it will state that you don't have any version of the game installed because actually have a look so game data folder is empty let's go here for some reason it's not not responding but it's not it's not because of unity it's because I don't have free space on my PC so you don't have any version of the game installed click to install the newest 121 version so we click here and you can see that uh, it will now download the game 
and install it for me. So extracted it and installed newest version of the game. So okay, well done. So okay, so haha. <laughs> well, it it extracts. I mean, it downloads you know the package right into the folder where test uh, you know this executable you know uh, located. So here we go. It downloaded this uh, this archive and extracted the game you know here. And now we have the version of the game 121. Let's just say uh, we launch the new version of the game and we are not satisfied with its look and we want to downgrade this version of the game to old one so that, so let's just have a look at new version of the game so bright sky green cube let's just say we want to uh, downgrade so we we'll we go to this folder 101 test data and we replace newest version with old one now let's launch it again and have a look at And meanwhile, we will have a look at uh, our game. So this is actually an uh, old version of the game. So no uh, bright sky, no green cube. Just dusk, you can see? Just dusk. And now it says, you have outdated 101 version of the game. Click the button and we will update it to 121. Update. It will take some time, so it will uh, download it again. Extracted and updated an updated old version 101 to new 121. So it's working. You can see that it downloads, uh, you know, the game. So this is a, a, a package. So 7:20 p.m. So you know, right now. Let's just say uh, we somehow removed. The, our game somehow we removed our game so we just remove this folder right and uh, if you don't have this folder game it will not work so you have to put this file with you know no game inside of your game folder so it's very important so if you somehow removed your game or corrupted uh, your game data, you know, here, you know, the folder game, you have to go here and take this updater no game and put this folder inside of your updater data. Hop, like this. That's all. So this is a solution. Solution for all the problems that may appear. So test. So now we don't have game installed once again. So you can see here. So no game, right? Game. And it will say that you don't have any game installed at all. So it will say no. Uh, it, you know you don't have any version of the game installed. Click to install the newest 121 version. It will replace this old you know, archive with a new one so 722 okay 722 p.m. extracted and installed newest 121 version of the game so that's all guys I guess for this video so now you understand how it's working I will provide uh, uh, um, the package in the description of this video so it will be a link to the file Maybe it will be on Google Drive, obviously, because Dropbox banned me for some reason, so, yeah. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video of something that we're interested in or maybe not we're interested. Bye.